we got a mind-blowing phenomenon that you might not want to watch alone. Drop a thumbs up and let's get into let's it. Let's go. Subscribe if you're new. Mysterious and mind-blowing phenomenon or events are something quite rare to capture on camera. However, Is that Niagara? Sometimes so Is that Niagara Falls? Someone ends up being fortunate enough to capture one of these events like this Yo, what's one. what's that? Not cool. Holy! You do not want to fall in that. This is everywhere. How is that even possible? Like? Oh. Oh. Taking into consideration that there are still many mysterious places out there and many things that we don't know about, it is somewhat expected that at any moment, that a is... phenomena such as this one. Yo, this doesn't. Is that a moose? Bruh. Doesn't even look real. Could end up being caught on camera. No, I probably is real. Siri. However, it's not always that we can explain exactly what it is that we are seeing. And today we're going to be taking a look at some Damn. of the most mind-blowing and mysterious phenomena that I have ever seen caught on camera. Dude, this is crazy though. Holy man. Especially that clip that was around the plane area. Uh, it almost felt like if you guys have seen Harry Potter, if you're a fan of that franchise, you know, like the, the uh, Voldemort, uh, you know, the what's those morphos name? Then you do the... You know, in Harry Potter 3, those uh, Dementors, I believe the Dementors, yeah, Dementors. Bruh. It really felt like that. Those were Dementors circling around that plane. And guys, we are getting very close to 4,000 subscribers. So if you're new, hit the bell. Man. Trying to upload a lot on the oh, channel. Because these videos are very, very strange. One strange phenomena that has been scaring people all over are the mysterious groaning noises that have been heard at night, sometimes during the day. And well... There is no official explanation for it. Sounds so creepy. I had my experience like that a couple of years ago. I'm in Montreal, so I remember hearing similar. It only happened once, and it was very bizarre. And quite frankly, you're noticing the weather here, right? It's foggy, might have been even raining. It was similar uh, when I experienced that. It was quite foggy, too. So, connection? I don't know. Okay, right now it's nighttime, it's annoying. That is so creepy. Melissa Thompson caught this video early this year in 2020 in a town called Anchorage in Alaska. The sound appears to come from the sky and locals have been baffled by it, searching for an answer for years. What's most intriguing is that this sound keeps happening in Anchorage, Alaska. And these are the most recent videos of such event. But it's not- what, What's your take on this one? What could it be? It's definitely not a plane though. Uh, maybe something else in the sky that was moving. Maybe a plane, but maybe like a jet. But jet, I have heard jet engine, uh, like I'm talking about like F-15 jet, jets, right? I have heard and they are loud, but they are different. They are, you can tell uh, easily, this is not that. What could it be? Maybe construction happening around, mm, but yeah, I don't know. What, what could it be? Not just in Alaska, in a video that went viral last week coming from Mexico, a similar sound can be heard. <laughs> Mysterious sounds in Toluca, Mexico. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, this is quite bizarre. I never heard anything like that. And there are. I heard, but this one is kind of different. Okay. Are a couple of theories to what it could be. One of them is skyquakes, which is a phenomenon where a loud cannon, a trumpet, or a sonic boom sound is reported to originate from the sky. The sound can produce shockwaves that vibrate a building or a particular area. In other words, there is no official explanation to what really originates these sounds. Electricity? 
Now let's just think about this for a second. There are 18,000 new species of animals that are discovered every year. In other words, there's still a lot to find out about this earth oh, and its creatures. There's a piercing right there in the chest. It's no wonder that there's a- Two-headed, that's like, br bruh. bruh. Obviously, I've heard people with like extra fingers, uh, with missing fingers when they're born, with extra fingers. Uh, I heard one case, this is gonna sound very kind of wild, but I I heard this story. Do not go looking for it. For it, I never really looked into it, never really bothered, and you will understand why. Never really cared to look into it, but I heard a story that there was a guy that was born with two, two schlongs. Two Bruh. schlongs, and doctor had to cut one, which is absolutely sad, and because... He was blessed, God has blessed him with two, two pepes, uh, two schlongs. You know, sometimes if you have two baddies around, it goes down! No, I'm just- I stop it uh, That is, that is sad. That is bad. Like, God actually blessed him with having two and they were like, okay, now man, th that, that one gotta go! Uh, understandably, but it's still a brown woman, bro. A very big possibility that there are mythological creatures that were depicted in the past that might just be real. Like the two-headed giant. The story starts in 1673. So the two-headed giant was captured by Spanish mar uh, mariners, who kept it prisoner until they finally killed it while they trying to while they tried to escape. After these events, the story becomes unclear and contradictory. But supposedly, it got mummified and carried to London during the 19th century. That was supposedly captured by the Spanish in 1673. And later, in 1959, its mummy was acquired by Lord Thomas Man. Howard. That is insane. In China, for that instance, insane. on September 2019, a huge and mysterious what? creature was sighted off the coast of the city of Yi Chang in western Hubei province. What the actual F was that? I'm trying to process this information, bruh, because these videos be keep on coming. God, God dang, God damn. Check this out. Yo, what about the other clip? What about that that you saw? You showed us that fat old whale or something like that. What, what, what's about? What about that? Like, we need to see more of that too. Yo, what's that, bro? Could it be that the Loch Ness monster isn't just a myth? In the Thames River, for instance, Leah K YouTube channel captured a similar creature. God damn. Bro. Feels like that it's coming off though. Leah Kay was with her friends when she spotted this huge anomaly in the middle of the river. Whatever it is, it doesn't look like a snake or any other creature that I know of. Leave a comment if you have any idea. Maybe a new species? It's the aliens! Lock yourselves in the basement! The Martians are here! Water is a very important resource, if not the most important one, and when it goes missing, it's not a very good thing. However, yeah. this is exactly what happened at a Man, it truly is sad that we are in the year 2023. May you might be watching in 2050, or maybe even 2100 or something if we have not blown our planet up. Uh, but it truly is sad because we're paying a lot in taxes, right? And all that money is going to what? Like military? Understand that you need to have good defense, okay? Understand that. But it is going to war, most importantly. It's not going to the military personnel. They're not really making that much. Let's keep a buck 50. They're actually providing service. They're trying to serve their country. They're trying to do some good. They're trying to protect us, right? respect and salute but but most of the tax paying dollars is going to classify all projects something that we may or may not know in the future uh so i'm not even going to talk about that but most of the money is going to war and propaganda a lot of our tax paying dollars are going to that what when we know it could be going to better things like bettering the education system uh bettering the healthcare system bettering the the lives of other people and in fact like uh, there there are a lot of people that are missing water food shortages and there's a lot of i mean people want to people we complain i'm gonna put myself into that as well but we really are grateful to be honest uh but we here in the west we complain about some of the little stuff out there I, and i'm guilty too guilty as charged i'm gonna put myself into it but when you actually think about it uh in, in the east 
least there are a lot of people that are having like trouble finding water, uh, having trouble finding food, and uh, not even having a shelter. That is like, damn, bro. That is that is sad. You know what I mean? Their priorities are completely different compared to us. Um, yeah. In Italy, a couple of years ago. Check this out. In this particular situation, a local resident at the beach noticed that the water started to disappear. However, he did not expect that it would be this quick. In a matter of minutes, the water at the beach completely vanished. And this happened actually more than once in the year of 2018 it's a, and 2019. Still, it's a sign, right? Like maybe a tsunami is about to hit because the water kind of retracts back and then goes and BOW! You know what I mean? It comes back after. Without a very good explanation. Or it goes somewhere else. It's, it's wild. How that happened? But we have a uh, bird, so that's a good sign that maybe nothing will happen, at least for now. In 2020, locusts and other insects have swarmed in large numbers in dozens of countries, including Kenya, oh, yeah. India, Pakistan, Oman, Saudi Arabia, Brazil, and many more. We saw a similar clip when swarms earlier. affect several countries at once in very large numbers, it is known as a plague. Yo, they're gonna take over the planet. God and in a bro. recent video that went viral, swarms of insects were caught on camera in <gasps> Russia. Holy man. What? And man, I truly feel bad. Like if I if I'm walking and if I see it like a like an insect, uh, I will try my absolute best to not step on it. But we always step on thousands, millions. Uh, if you're walking around, I mean, you wouldn't even know like how many insects you're killing, right? But uh, but if I see it, I'll try to make sure. But the fact that there are this many, like, how can you even walk, bro? Like that is crazy, man. And Mongolia. Damn. Like if you you were in the middle, the like, recent how can you increase in swarms of insects is not mysterious or inexplainable at all. However, it does give one the chills. Leave a comment. What moments would you do later? in such situation? And have you ever seen this yourself? Yeah, moments later. Oh damn, bro! If there's one Yo, place, that, that's waifu right there, man. That's waifu, bro. bro. Like she's she a waifu, my waifu material, man. I gotta say, man, I gotta respect beauty, you guys. Come on, man. It's full of mysteries. It's the ocean. And I'm pretty sure most people are familiar with the myth of Atlantis and the fact that there was supposedly in the past a continent that just went missing. Yeah! God damn, man! Yo, you, that was kind of massive, bro. Holy! And it's when someone finds a structure like this on Google Earth that such oh. a myth becomes somewhat a reality. Yo, you know what this reminds me of? I just got that that memory. Just it just triggered a memory. Uh, there's like a, I, I I don't is it a North Sentinel Island? I I might be butchering the name, but there's an island near India and it belongs to India. But the 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 thing is that there are tribal people living and whoever tries to go there they apparently kill them but there was one encounter where they tried to give them food where they went with like a woman and they did not attack but every other time they went they attack and they killed uh and that uh, yeah this kind of triggered that memory because it's an island around and near uh india outside obviously in the it's in the middle of the ocean but near india and uh yeah those people that live there they are completely unaware uh, of the, the the technology that we have i bet like if they saw like a chopper or a plane flying around they would be like it's the aliens it's the aliens they wouldn't even be able to compute uh the the technology right like that that is crazy that on this planet over uh, of ours there are uh, places like that that exist there are people like that exist which is absolutely insane you know what i mean City-like structures all over sure. our oceans can be found on Google Earth and people have been looking at these kind of structures for many years now, baffled by it and looking for some sort of explanation. Oh damn man, you must be having some serious time on your hands to Google Although and, underwater constructions and are a thing and they do happen, these structures that are found on Google Earth are too big to be man-made. In your opinion, what could it be? The aliens! The aliens! A phenomenon that is being widely discussed this year is unidentified flying objects. Yes, sir. It is wild. It is actually in tornado. 
in the middle of it's it. It's a subject that intrigues many people, and there's always a cousin, an uncle, or someone that you know that has encountered such an object. Mm. Holy sh! What is that? Oh god damn! How was that? I personally never really encounter a UFO. I feel like I did once, but it's one of those things I looked up in the sky and it kind of like there was like a dot that kind of disappeared. But but I don't think it was a UFO. I feel like it was something else. Uh, 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 yeah, I personally never really encounter something that can object that I can look at and objectively say that I do not recognize that because uh, at the end of the day, UFO means unidentified flying object. So I never seen anything in the sky that I look at and be like, yeah, that's uh, that's a UFO. But but have you one if you have two if you have not it's strange nothing that it could be suspended by weird yeah that is bizarre that is bizarre in some cases they could be confused for drones that's for sure but in other cases not. This is insane, yeah. The real question is, where are they coming from, and where are they going to? Yeah, this is like one of those like... Oh shit! That kind of moment, you know what I'm saying? Massive sighting in Brazil. Um, and we had uh, one of those clips that we saw from That Is Impossible channel. Great channel, guys. Definitely hit him up with the sub. And if you're new here, also hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the bell right now. Uh, we had if you watch a similar clip that also had hundreds of UFOs, you know, I mean it was not drones It was not drones and this is also feeling like that. It's not drones It can be but it just feels like that. It's something else. You do not see that many drones Flying all together like that. Okay, and, and you're telling me that there's no like crash. There's no accidents. Uh, I mean nah, man This is different. This is completely different during thunderstorms, for example, people quite often spot something out of its place, which is the case with this video coming in from Japan. This one? Yeah, okay. Oh, what? In this next video, for instance, we can see a glowing object swooshing around a person's apartment while she tapes it. Check this out. No way this is real. This is clear as day though, and it is, uh, it is on water? Uh, moving above water? Some people commented on this video that this object might actually not be a UFO, but something like a fairy. It doesn't- What? What? Bruh. What's that? It feels like that it's like a small person. It reminds me of, if you guys ever played God of War, there, you know, when you go in another realm, there are people uh, that have like wings. There are actual people with like uh, swords, kind of, or I don't know how you say that, with like bim bamboos or- <laughs> <laughs> with bamboos in their hand and they got like wings so they, they kind of fly it, it kind of reminds me of that but this is like times a uh, hundred times smaller than them it appeared to be a drone Bruh. leave a comment what is your take yeah, damn. Yeah. at least once in a lifetime people encounter something of the paranormal oh damn he is diving into the paranormal <laughs> <laughs> In a video captured in a government building in Mexico, we can see a bizarre figure. Man, I didn't know he was gonna dive into the paranormal. Okay, that got that caught me off guard. But I remember seeing that that what we just saw. I remember. Yeah, that's the most replay. I mean, people want to see building that, right? In Mexico. Yeah, I, I I remember seeing this like as a thumbnail. At least once in a lifetime, people encounter something of the paranormal. He must. He must have felt like something was happening and then he heard. I don't know though. Man, that is bizarre. It retreats back. In a video captured in a government building in Mexico, we can see a bizarre figure. A figure that does not appear to be human at all. Lurking around the building. And most of the senators and congressmen that are used to working inside the building can confirm that there is a very creepy presence that they feel when they are inside. <laughs> However, if there's something creepier than this video, is a CCTV footage of something that I can't quite explain. Zoom in, in Mackie, yeah, there you go. Okay, what would happen? You have a clear yeah, shot? Yeah. You said that the gate has a padlock, yes. Look, he will go through? See, he didn't move it? In this video, a couple of friends are watching a security camera that they apparently have in their house when they capture a man doing something that humans can't. 
there was a gate stopping anyone from coming in their bra, home, bra, bra. when apparently this man comes along and does the impossible. And is this fake or is it the real thing? Superman bra. or a ghost? Don't be shy, leave your opinion under the comment section below. <laughs> Don't be shy, man. He, d he really did pull up. Boom, Boom The camera ain't doing no justice. Yo, that feels so fake, honestly. This one? It look red. Is it, is it, is it the sun? Nah, I don't think so. Um, yeah. Look at this. That's not the sun. Yeah, not the sun. One thing that has been proven very useful in today's world are dash cams. And in this next video, a driver has a dash cam installed in his car when this happens. Yeah, dash cams be saving lives out here. Yo, why would you move your car? Okay, holy. Yo, it almost feels like a portal. Uh, you, uh, if you ever seen that, I believe it was the first Avengers movie, you know, when the aliens are attacking the... Coming from a portal in New York around that Tony Stark uh, HQ. Uh, it feels like that portal, but because this car came out of nowhere and because of that the camera just went up I believe he the car got hit. That's why the camera got up and okay. Thanks for that. We got this video, right? But how is it the possible? Driver. How is it possible that no one else saw this? I'm sure others saw it too. In front of him makes a sudden move that goes quite wrong. However, the dash cam moves its position focusing at Dumbass. a bizarre anomaly in the sky. What this was captured on Dashcam Owners Australia YouTube channel and people over the comment section noticed this anomaly and pointed it out. Whatever it is, it could be the real thing or just a camera glitch. Now yeah, it's not a cam camera glitch? It, it looks like a jellyfish moving uh, around, right? A glitch is a phenomenon that happened recently in Mexico in a city called Tabasco. Not a camera glitch? Last week, an intriguing phenomenon was captured on camera and published on Morwax official YouTube channel. This phenomenon is known as a light pillar, and some people debate if it has anything to do with earthquakes or seismic activity. But it's not just in the form of a light pillar that these strange lights can appear. So yeah, I heard that that, that's, that phenomenon is actually real, uh, but, but, but what's the reason of that happening? There must be a cause, there must be a logical explanation uh, from the scientists and astronauts, you know what I'm saying? In 2019, in the city of Mexico, this happened. Yeah, multiple lights kind of flickering. It was seen all over the city and many believe this to be an earthquake light, which is a luminous aerial phenomena that reportedly appears in the sky at or near areas of tectonic stress, seismic activity or volcanic eruptions. But what's the light source though? Where the light is coming from? Is it coming from the ground? Uh, is it coming from the sky? If it's coming from the ground, is it coming from some holes in the ground? You, you know what I mean, right? There has to be a source of the light. Uh, where's the source? What's the source and where is, where is it? It also happened in 2017 in Mexico during an 8.0 earthquake. Similar light pillars such as the one that occurred in the city of Tabasco were already captured this year in Mexico, in Michoacán and other cities. Phenomena like these ones can often be confused for sprites, which are large. Por favor. Large scale electrical discharges that occur high above thunderstorm clouds. Now, like I said before, there is a very big chance that strange creatures that we don't no know of roam this earth. It is the case with this next video. Man, say you swear to God, bro. Say you swear to God, man. Like, what? what's what's that? It feels like that I'm playing GTA 5 right now. Because I remember, you know, you know if you ever play GTA 5, there's a mission where you have to go in Michael's house. It kind of feels like that this man is trying to get into Michael's house. Caught by a family that was driving in Canada when they stopped by Big to head. tape a moose when this happened. Oh, yeah, zombie? Cryptos? It's the aliens! It's the aliens! Yeah, the moose is, I believe he's like eating. Yeah, he's like, he don't even give a damn, bro. Like, I want to finish my food, man. Yeah, he don't oh. give a damn, but there is something behind you know, this lurking. Oh, they're speaking French. Uh, she says that uh, uh, you, you see. Hey, you 
During the moment that they were recording, they did not notice that there was a humanoid creature just lurking behind the moose. In my opinion, there's a very big chance that this creature, whatever it is, is hunting the moose. Hmm. But now However, it's... after posting this video online, it went almost instantly viral after many people commented that there was something strange going on in the background. Leave a comment. What is your take and what would you do if you... I don't know, it was moving very bizarrely too, but guys, check this video out, okay? This is some of the craziest video. They don't want you seeing that, man. Click on this video or the video on the left, either one. Check this video out and I will see you right there.